Hello, Mallards. It is Thursday. This evening, we watched Night Teeth, and I can honestly say that I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, the premise of this film is that this guy is driving around these two girls as a chauffeur, and it turns out that they're vampires. At least from the trailer, that's sort of what you get. Uh, the actual film, this guy takes a job driving a car service from his brother uh, and ends up driving around these two girls who are vampires. But it's set in the background of this idea that in this specific area of LA, there has been a truce of sorts between vampires and humans where vampires don't feed on the unwilling and they don't go into this area of LA and I don't remember rule three, but there are three rules. And then as a result, these humans in this area of LA don't hunt them. Uh, except that on this night, one of the vampires, Victor, has decided that the truce is off and all of the rules are off and he wants to take over because he's tired of not being as powerful and rich as he could be, despite the fact that vampires are very clearly very powerful and very rich. But you know, he's greedy and he wants more. So he's going around LA and killing all of the other vampires, like all of his bosses, and essentially fighting everybody to gain control. And our driver, Benny is stuck in the middle of this because his brother is part of his older brother, Jay, who was supposed to be driving the vehicle, is part of the group of humans who were part of this treaty. But now he's broken the treaty because, well, because Victor broke it first and he wants to like get back at Victor for taking his girl uh, and killing her. And it just has a lot of lore that could be really interesting but was instead explained like in a voiceover at the beginning and then in a couple of sets of exposition from like the girls uh and then the rest of the time it's sort of like a taxi driver situation where he's like driving them around to different places and they get out of the vehicle and it's very clear to us that they just like murder a bunch of people and steal their stuff and then come back in the vehicle but it's not necessarily clear to him at first it is eventually when he follows them and sees them murdering people. Uh, and then a romance develops between him and one of the girls in his vehicle, while the other one is clearly crazy, really in it with Victor, definitely wants to see him dead at the end the whole time. The pacing for this film is just kind of strange. Visually, it's really cool. There are a lot of really cool sets. There's a lot of really fun visuals. The colors, the costumes, the atmosphere is really, really fun, but the writing is not great and the pacing is really strange. Like it's got some driving moments that could be interesting if they rearranged it. It also could pick up the pace a little bit in certain spots. Well, in probably a lot of spots, several spots, it could pick up the pacing. It just gets a little slow and weird in places like there's a scene where they're taking out one of the other vampires and they're just having this really long scene with him for reasons that I do not understand and I feel like I felt that way a lot I was like why is this long scene happening this movie was one hour and 40 some odd minutes and I think that it could have easily been a one hour film. In fact, it probably could have been a 45 minute episode of a television show. Not that you could make a whole season of TV out of this. I don't think, although I don't know, you could maybe make a whole season of TV out of the underground vampire world in LA. Like if this was the season finale and we had like watched these characters get to this point, it would have been a good 45 minutes of television, but as it was, it was a strange hour and 48 minute movie. Uh, 
it's fun if you like vampires there's some good vampire bits in there the little bits of lore is interesting the couple of fight sequences that you get to see are pretty cool uh the girls in the car are absolutely wild and therefore kind of fun but overall i i can't in good conscience be like yeah this is a film you should check out because I'm, I'm not sure it is. Like, I'm glad I watched it because I enjoy weird content. But we definitely finished the film and no one was like, wow, that was cool. We were all kind of like, wow. We watched that. So if they could just clean up just, just a little bit of the pacing. Tighten it up a little bit. I think it could be really fun. Or lengthen different parts of it. Like I can also see a way where this is an hour and a half long film and really engaging because there are little tiny bits that were engaging and could be more interesting. Like I wouldn't mind personally if we as the audience got out with the girls at every stop because like we know from the preview that they're vampires. So like I don't feel like that needs to be hidden from me literally the entire time. So... It would be fun for me, I think, if we followed the girls more, like when they got out and then murdered everybody at this house. It would be fun for us to follow them. And I think that would make the film more interesting and dynamic and could add some of that like grit we really want. If you've seen Night Teeth, let me know what you thought about it. And also, how did you feel about the ending? Where he becomes a vampire. I, yeah, as mentioned, I'm not entirely sure what happened. So let me know what you thought of the film, if you've seen it. And if you haven't seen it, that's probably better for you anyway. And I'll see you tomorrow.